Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Um, it's your girl Stace in the place. And I don't know, I figured we we're trying to like move all of these candle crates and then we can put up the Christmas tree. So we're gonna do Candle Chronicles a little different this time. Um, we are, hi Tuxie. We are going to try to go through as many crates as possible to finish filling up um, this shelf. And so we have two empty spots down here, a full row here and somewhere here. So let's see, either the camera will run out or I don't know. I guess Winnie will keep sneezing until the end. Uh, is Winnie gonna entertain us? All right, so let's jump into this. This is gonna be wild, a little wild and crazy. Um, but let's see. So, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I have my slippers on again. My little jingle bell slippers. <laughs> but let's, let's get to it. Um, so, first things first, I completely forgot to turn the light on, so one hot second. Okay, there we go. Now it seems like there's a little bit of sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> but, um, let's see, first one we picked up is cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. Mm, this one is beautiful. Like, the, van um, the cinnamon vanilla just really sticks out and then the like the cocoa-ness of the hot cocoa and cream a beautiful just beautiful vibe like it's a very beautiful gourmand um i really enjoyed this one enjoyed it um we are going to put this one in the collection section just starting off um because i don't think i've pulled that one out recently um here is pb and j ice cream <laughs> This one came out. There was so much controversy, and it smells good. Like it just smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you've kept in the freezer for a little while, or dare I say, an uncrustable. I just tried uncrustables for the first time this year, and like my friend Casey, like she would swear by them, and I'm like, what is an uncrustable? And so finally this year, um, I got into them, but I'm like. She was right. Yeah, Winnie, you like Uncrustables too? Um, amazing. I believe, oh, FedEx is here. Well, not here, here, but FedEx is checking out one of our neighbors and someone um, got a refrigerator from Best Buy today. Just in case you're a nosy uh, neighbor or nosy bystander like I am. And I was shocked that these people moved into um, the like they closed on their house like not last week but maybe the week before last and i just looked today and they already have a shed i was like well you better get it honey you better make that house a home um okay so <laughs> next up i am so ridiculous next up is limoncello unicorn sprinkles oh this one just like it just relaxes my soul Mm, it just smells like it just smells so good there's something about that limoncello that really gives me the springtime and then the unicorn sprinkles give me like the sweetness but it's not too sweet absolutely adore this one we are going to also put this one in the collection shelf um there's more <laughs> so another pb and j ice cream so that's going to go for our backup pile um this shelving here is our backup pile shelving Another limoncello and unicorn sprinkles, so a backup pile. And my little boo thing, vanilla birch. <laughs> vanilla birch. Oh, it's so good. All of that birch just does something to me, I swear. Um, backup pile, because y'all already know I have way too many of them. What well, is there ever too many candles? That's a rhetorical question. Don't answer that. Um, oh, in the stars, y'all. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. I love me some in the stars. Just beautiful. It has that slight, like, ambroxan medicinal vibe and just, oh, it just tickles the senses. Oh, amazing. We're going to put this one in the backup pile because we've talked about that one before. Um, oh, Marshmallow Fireside, but in the super cute packaging, so you already know. Collection show. But the smokiness with the marshmallow. Maybe 
this is what I need on the warmer right now. Like we, I have fall forest down there um, because like, I don't know, the wild thing is, another in the stars, the wild thing is we moved here and like I realized how, like I never really appreciated I don't know if they would be considered console tables, but you know, like those random little tables that you see, or like these two, um, like the random little tables that you see in the house and like it has stuff sitting on it. Like I just, I never really appreciated having them because now like my candle lamp down here is just on the floor, like straight up over, I'm down in here in my little office, like a bachelor or something put my candle lamp on the floor. Thankfully, the dogs are never interested in it. Um, backup pile, marshmallow fire said. Um, they're never interested in it, so I'm not like worried about them knocking something over. Um, but yeah, I'm like, wow, I never really appreciated end table and console tables and stuff until we didn't have a bunch for all the different uh, Backup pile. Uh, yeah, are you guys having fun down there? Yeah? You beefing? Why are you beefing? Why, why are we beefing? We're working. We're not beefing. <laughs> Marshmallow fries. She like, girl, you might be working, but I'm playing. Yeah? Yeah, mom and dad work so you guys can play. Okay. I guess. I guess that's how it goes. All right. We're going to put this um, one. I'm just going to start it off with here. Um, because I like to save the top row for the glass ones. Um, so that way, and matter of fact, I see some. Um, so we're just going to grab two crates from here. Um, so it's just easier to store. And if you are in the market and you're curious about these shelving units, these are the six tier shelving units from Sam's Club. I believe they're usually... 119 but every now and then you can catch them on sale for 100 um they're amazing they hold like way like the poundage is in the hundreds um i like to do mine this way so then that way i get um four rows of being able to have three candle rows stacked on top of each other and then this one i just use for candle holders um and then i put more candle holders and stuff up top you can um rearrange it and probably take a little bit um, like mush them down a little bit more, but I like having the room so it's easy to just pull the candle um, candle crate out and not like struggling against um, the top. Anyhow, back to the candles. Um, so this is pink Prosecco frosting. And this one's really pretty. I mean, you can definitely smell the Prosecco. It smells like if you smushed a, like a Hmm, like a, I don't know, I guess a strawberry cupcake and um, a glass of Prosecco together. You like mush them together with a little bit of sprinkles. And that's what it smells like, but pretty good. And you know, it has to be good if I'm over here with five of them. <laughs> so, and this one I think was from 20, yep, 21. Um, and then also in that lineup was the Springtime in Paris. This one is good. Normally, I don't really care for springy um, fragrances, but like Springtime in Paris is the one I will let slide. Um, this one is Soft Peach, Lotus Blossom, and Fresh Bergamot. It's just a, it's a beautiful blend. Like, there's no other way around it. Absolutely beautiful blend. We're gonna put this one um, here. We'll start it down here. So it seem like we're moving things around. Um, this is our backup pile. Okay, so this is our new pile. Ah, blueberry maple pancake. It's, I mean, okay, so maybe this one, because it's been just like chilling for a while, it's not like as slap you in the face. This is like a candle, like I can appreciate it. I will say that I like, I want to have at least one or two on hand because like, Every now and then I get into the mood for it, but like my hat off to the people who absolutely love it because it's just not my thing, but I'm like, I wish I was into it, but we're going to put this one in the collection shelf. Um, let's see. Next up we have toasted coconut cupcake. 
Oh, this one's so good. This like legit smells like a coconut cake. Oh, so good. Oh. And the little, I mean, the little design is so cute too. Adorbs collection show. Um, oh, toasted pineapple marshmallow. Mm. Now this one was good. Like at first I didn't really like, when I saw it, cause it's a SAS candle. Um, this one's from 20, is this 22 for reals? Yeah, 2022. Um, when this one came out, I was like, eh, I don't like pineapple. I don't care about this. But the marshmallow is something about that marshmallow. That marshmallow just does something to me. I don't know. Um, but we have one, two, three, these up here. So they'll all be the same next to each other. Three and four. I'm pretty sure we already have one of these. Do we? No, actually, I don't remember us talking about one. So I'm going to put one over here for the collection shelf, just to be safe. Um, and then grab us another crate or a couple of crates. Let's see. You know, it's so funny because I was like, I was like, oh, you know what? Like in the, in the last video, it was so many things of the same thing. And I was like, oh, so we're going to be running through these. And now, now I keep finding the ones that aren't the same. That's how it goes. Um, so here's pepper plum. Pepper plum was very interesting. It smells, oh, this smells familiar. It almost reminds me of like hair grease a little bit. Yeah. Hair grease. Um, the notes are bold plum, warm patchouli, and the black peppercorn. And yeah, I mostly just get hair grease from it, but like it's not like it doesn't smell exactly like hair grease, it just reminds me of it. It's an interesting scent. It's interesting. That that's the word I'm gonna use. But I'm gonna put, I think. Are these all the same? Oh no, these are different. So this is smoked vanilla whiskey, which we've seen before. So I'm gonna put this one for the backup pile. I'm gonna take peppered plum and put it over here for the collection shelf. And these were all part of the, another smoked vanilla whiskey. That one's really good. Um, part of the tester collection. Dark Velvet Oud also. I wonder if this is just, yeah, I feel like this is just a whole set of, another Dark Velvet Oud. I told y'all I love me some Oud, okay? Um, and then another peppered plum. I will say that I know for sure that I did not pick up a lot of peppered plum because it, 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 it is, it's interesting. Um, here is a Midnight Amber Glow. Midnight Amber Glow, I feel like, I feel like it got shafted, honestly. Like, it's a beautiful scent. It's perfect for fall, but I feel like last year when it came out, it just, the timing was off. Um, I think it just came out a little bit too late, at least for us in North Carolina. Um, it just, I don't know. but the packaging, I mean, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, it just, it came out a little too late, too late. Um, oh, another patchouli and rosewood. Mm -mm. I would like never did I ever think that I was gonna become this like big patchouli um, lover. Oh, coffee and Tonka. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put this midnight amber and glow or midnight amber glow over here for the collection shelf. I have three more um, which are in this crate here. So we're just gonna leave these right here for the um, uh, collection shelf. Um, but real quick, I want to talk about coffee and tonka because. Mm, 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 mm. So it's very like, it's similar to Paris Cafe, but it's not the same. I'm sorry. I agree with Sneeko. Like it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. Paris Cafe has more of a, like a continuous, like coffee bite to it. If like. Uh, I feel like there should be a better word than saying bite, but like this one kind of has it, 
it has that similar bite, but it's not as strong. It's not as vicious because the tonka is like kind of sweetens it up. So this is more like if you have Paris Cafe with like, I don't know, your favorite coffee syrup or like a bunch of sweet vanilla or French vanilla syrup in it, which kind of like makes it a little bit more smooth, a little bit more jazzy. But it's so good. Oh my goodness. I wish, I wish they would bring this out again because it's really nice. And when I went to the outlet, um, we're gonna put this on a collection shelf, obviously. Um, when I went to the outlet to try and get one, like it was so hard. Every time I went there, like, oh no, sorry, like we don't have it. No, no, no. I'm like, well dang. And then I just so happened um to be there at the right time. And I guess a truck had recently just come in and the lady's like, oh, I think we do. We still have like one box of them. Um, and so I was like, sign me up for a crate, please. And take that crate to the front because I'm getting ready to purchase it. Like, oh, oh my gosh. So yes, I'm pretty sure I only have six of those, which it's sad. Um, but I mean, hey, six is better than none. It's better than none. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, okay. Oh. oh my gosh. All right, here's three. Also, again, apologies for the loud slippers. <laughs> um, but they're so cute and I love them. All right, so this one should be an easy one. This one is a walk in the woods, which we have talked about. Mm -mm -mm. That patchouli, like, Yes! Oh my gosh, the patchouli in this is just so, it's so fall. It's so beautiful. Like just, absolutely beautiful. Um, I have six of these, so we're gonna just slide them on in. Right here, I'll put them right here. Um, next up, wow, these guys are dusty. Um, we have the sweet carrot cake, and I know it because it has the happy Easter, but wow, they got dusty out here in the storage unit. Jeez Louise. Again, another beautiful fall scent. Um, I feel like it gives me the similar vibe of pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's not as sweet and syrupy, and maybe that's why I like really like it and enjoy it, because I feel like as time is going on, like, I'm more open to gourmand scents, but it's like they are usually spicy or like not as super sweet and potent as others. But I don't know, you know, things are always changing around here. Um, we have Mahogany Vanilla, uh, which was Give Peace. I remember this one came out for Candle Day. Mm. And this one's really nice. Mahogany vanilla, um, it's just, I don't know, it's nice. It's like, it's wild how mahogany teakwood can be like so like slap you in the face, but then um, when you mix the mahogany with something else, it's like, oh, this is nice, this is wonderful. It's like, I don't know, it, it just gives it character. Um, we have hot fudge drizzle, which is like the first chocolate candle that I actually got into. Mm, and it just smells like fudgy brownies. Like, this is making me hungry. <laughs> okay, and then um, I have two and three. I'm a three. So we're gonna put these in the backup pile. Um, oh, cozy cashmere. Love me some cozy cashmere. And like, look at this packaging. Oh, so adorable. Adorbs. Oh, and the purple wax. So this one's just nice and clean. It smells like what um, sweaters are supposed to smell like. And I love the lid on this one. Um, so we are gonna put this one for the um, collection shelf. And I remember when they came out, um, cause like the gift piece collection was part of the candle day sales and stuff. And then this cozy cashmere and like, I think blush point set it was other certain ones that were like the next set that was supposed to come out. And when I tell y'all, I was like going to all of the different stores trying to get my hands on them. And there was one in particular and it has, it's this same like vibe and packaging 
But I want to say it was like a red color maybe and i remember everyone was trying to get after it it was wild but i can't think of the name of that candle right now to save my life i want to say it has something to do with pancakes but i don't think so i don't know we'll we'll find it um but yeah, here's another mahogany vanilla um i'm gonna put this one here in the bucket pile and we're gonna grab some more candles oh man talk to you we're hustling baby Chelsea, work up through the candles, bud. <laughs> okay, so another one of my loves, Virtual Trail. Mm, I remember they have like some type of pheno, does it say it on here? It was like some pheno or fennel something or other, but it was like, we put scents in here to make it seem like it's really nature, like, like like they bottled up photosynthesis or something and like threw it in the candle. I don't know if it's true or what the the little sciency and all six of these are, are um virtual trail. I don't know if it's true or like if that was just marketing. But but what I do know is I love virtual trail. So yeah. Um, here's in the stars. It just it settles my soul, I swear. And it makes me feel like all bright and shiny because I don't know, like the packaging, like the packaging is bright and shiny. Um, and I remember I was in Apex and I was going into Pet Smart. Pet Smart? Yeah, into the Pet Smart stores because they kept having their like Christmas, um, little dog Christmas outfits on clearance. And so I was out there trying to get them all like Pokemon. Well, not all of them, but like get the ones or the designs that I wanted um, for the, the little pups. Um, and I had just put on, I'm sorry, I'm just double checking to make sure they're all, yep, all six are in the star. So we're just gonna throw it back here. Um, and this lady, I walked past this lady and she's like, wow, you smell amazing. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Um, I'm like, oh, thanks. And she's like, oh, man, you smell so good. Like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's my hand sanitizer. It's in the stars with Bath and Body Works. See, I be out here promoting Bath and Body Works. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I just, oh, my gosh. Like, Paris Cafe. Y'all. Can you imagine? Okay, let's just be like delirious for a hot second. Could you imagine if they made Paris Cafe into body care? I know, I know. And then your first thought is probably like, Stace, like, are you serious? Like, who would want to smell like this? But like, why not? Because you could mix it with something else. Oh my gosh, like... I mean, it just, oh man, it is so good. It is just, it's so good. And like, I mean, I don't know, part of me, like, part of me hopes that it comes back out again on candle day and like in some cutesy little packaging. So then I just have an excuse to get more. Like I, I'm just going to admit that I am shamefully, or un, no, unembarrassingly, no, like unshe, I don't know. I, basically, I am not afraid to admit that I am hoarding my collection of Paris Cafe, and I'm enjoying it, as you can see, because like, it just, I'm like a fiend. I mean, it just, it just smells so good. It just, mm, mm, mm. and now I'm like, I mean, do I really love Fallen Flurries as much as I say I do? Or do I love Paris Cafe more? I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I'm just not going to put it up back here. And let's do some more. Tati, are you tired of me talking about Paris Cafe? Um, oh no. Okay, so... This pack is um, Huntington Homes, so I'm going to move this over here, and let's grab these. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like we're making headway, but then I don't feel like we're making headway because it's still empty. Okay, 
So here's another um, <laughs> another crate of sweet carrot cake. Can you tell that I love to sweet carrot cake? I love it. I love it. I love it. And turquoise waters. Okay, finally we're like getting to. <sighs> this is my summer scent. That like turquoise waters. It's my summer scent. Period. Period. And I'm gonna be ready for next summer because I have six of them here. <laughs> um. Oh, here. Let me show you the packaging just in case you're new here. Um. If you're enjoying like trying to speed go through all of these candles because I've got the gift of gab and I'm always telling some crazy wild story. Um, but if you're enjoying this, this is your chance to subscribe. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers by Christmas as our game plan. Um, so yeah, now is a perfect time to subscribe. Um, Let's see, what is this? Oh, vanilla Santal. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend with y'all. Vanilla Santal, she's a dirty bird, okay? If you burn this with some matches or your lighter, you better keep a close eye because when I tell you, honey, she be out here smoking like a fresh pack of Newport. Like, it's just, it's insane. But the candle, whew, the smell is something else. Mm -mm -mm. It's something about that sandalwood. It just gives like, well, santal. It's something about the santal and the vanilla mixed together. Like it just gives grown and sexy vibes. I'm here for it, loving it. Um, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll go in the backup pile and then we're gonna put one on our um, collection shelf over here. And I am going to, I'm gonna just take one of the Midnight Amber clothes and pop it in there. You know, we'll just slap it around. Yeah. And of course I said all that about the glass lids and I haven't popped up with a glass lid candle yet. But you know, that's how it goes. Right, Tuxie? Isn't that how it goes? Hmm? It's like, um, I'm just trying to take a nap. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. <gasps> Black Cherry Seltzer, I really enjoyed this one. Normally I'm not a fruity girl, but it's something about the like seltzer, like little sparkly um, carbonated vibes with the fruit, it just, it sets it off. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I'm gonna put one in the collection shop and yep. Yeah. There's more, so we're gonna put these in the backup pile. So that's one, two, three. What? Yeah, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, yeah, and another blueberry maple pancake. Oh my goodness. Let's put this here. Okay. And, oh, yes. Let's get excited. Oh, look at the little chicks. Are they cute? But this was marshmallow fluff, and oh my goodness. When I was at the outlet and I saw these, like, I just kept like, okay, so funny story about me um, here. Okay, so we're gonna put one in the collection shelf, and then all the rest of these little eggies will go for the backup pile, and I'm gonna grab another pack of candles. Um, but funny story is, when I went to the outlet, um, like, I don't know, at the outlet and at SAS, um, I am one of those people who will like, I will sit there and I will go through that whole pile of candles. And like, I'm not just gonna go through it once, I'm gonna go through it twice. And I'm gonna take my time and I'm like, you know, like it'll be a stack like this. And I'm like, okay, like I'm gonna move them nicely, keep everything like still organized, not gonna be a hot mess, but like, I want to make sure that there is no candle that I did not see and miss out on because the FOMO is real, okay? The FOMO is real. Um, here's Autumn Woods. We have seen this one. Packaging is beautiful, darling. <sighs> this one smells like fall, despite the warm weather outside. Um, this one is dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, like deep blue sea. Whew, deep blue sea is no joke, okay? Deep blue sea, whew. deep blue sea is potent. 
very potent. This one has uh, blue crisp waves, crisp, <laughs> everything is crisp and citrus. Um, sorry, blue citrus waves, crisp island woods, and fresh cypress. Like, those C words are so similar. It is trying to tongue tie me. I'm just going to put that one away. Um, oh, another mahogany apple. We've seen this one. Oh, mahogany apple is nice. It was one of the first ones that I um, had going in the house when we moved in to try to, like, give the house a nice smell. Um, white pumpkin, a tried and true. Just absolutely beautiful fall. Beautiful for fall. Honestly, I really want to get a um, a white pumpkin and a spice cardamom side by side and see if there's a huge difference between the two. I'm wondering. Um, here's another leaves, a tried and true, the beautiful fall candle. Um, and another one. Oh, I have to show you the packaging on this one because it's so cute. It's very artsy fartsy. Um, but yeah, leaves is awesome. Now at this point, I just pick up leaves um, if I like the packaging because I have way, way too many leaves. Um, but yeah, I wonder, does anyone else like look through the candle piles? I don't know, I guess I'm so used to the outlet. Um, Cause like, I don't know, there, if you go there at like just the right time, like they probably have just put some candles um, out and they'll try to keep them like organized um, as much as possible. But then after a while, they just have so much inventory to like get and move through that it just, it's, it's just all types of candles everywhere. And so I'm like, I'm just used to having my little bag and I fill it with the 12 candles and then they'd be like, oh, do you want another bag? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I just start going through, seeing if there's any other ones I'm interested in. I just, I don't know. It's the life, baby. But I get it when some people are like, oh, like, you know, if I don't see it all first glance and I'm done or like some people don't like necessarily looking through clearance stuff. Um, I'm just a person, I will go straight to the clearance because I'm always looking for a deal. Um, here's in the stars again. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. And y'all, when these come out on Candle Day, the signature collections, like they fly off the shelf. So if you're at all interested, pick it up. Like I cannot emphasize enough that like, oh wow, and another one. Oh wow, it was a whole set of six. Well, let me put these back. It was weird because like this thing said green tea but it's not. Um, so I'm gonna put all these back in here. Um, but yeah, like when candle day comes, if you are at all in doubt or like not sure about a candle, just get it because it's better to get it at that price and have it in your possession um, and take it back than to not get it and unfortunately you go back and it's gone. Like, oh. So broken hearted, so broken hearted with that. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so here are all the green tea basil <laughs> or basil green tea. It's so clean. Well, not clean, but it's like, it's so planty. Like if I were a plant, I would want to smell like this. Like. It just smells like spring and like happy and just do do do. Like, dare I say, like, it smells like aloe, like if an aloe and a cactus had little babies. Like, this is what I would imagine their little babies would smell like. I don't know. That, that like, that's wild. I would have never thought that I would say that, but I said it and hopefully somebody gets what I mean from that. But we have six of them, so we're gonna throw them up here. All right, y'all. We just have one more, one more spot. And of course, it's my boo back at it again, Paris Cafe. <laughs> I should have known this was gonna be the last one. Oh, but it's so worthy. Oh my gosh. Like, I, if I ever find coffee that smells exactly like this, like, I need to purchase stock because it just. Oh man, it 
it hits the spot every time. Every sniff, I swear, every sniff. Um, just call me a Paris cafe aholic, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wow. Winterberry wreath. So, <sighs> Winterberry wreath is a very interesting bird. I'm glad that we're ending on um, this note. So, this is fresh picked orange, juicy blackberry, and warm vetiver. Um, and yes, uh, all the other candles here are <laughs> Paris cafes. Uh, well, five pairs of days. So, last one, this little winterberry wreath. So, there's something about the vetiver in it that kind of gives it like this edginess to it. And so, it's like, it's like I'm Christmassy, but I'm not your average Christmas scent, right? And like, because it's the orange, the blackberry. So it has a little bit of fruitiness, but the vetiver is what just gives it like that pizzazz, okay? Like this is like the the little cousin that comes over that like always has their ish together at Christmas and like they have the best little Christmas scarf. They are so fashionable. They're just different. They just stand out. They're just unique. Yeah, that's Winterberry wreath. I mean, I would say, I would say this one is not blind by safe because the vetiver is just, it's, it, I feel like it's something we're not used to, that being mixed with the fruit. But like, if you want to try something new and step outside the box for Christmas time or like after Christmas time, because this would still be great in January, even in November, um, this is that one. I don't know if it's an every year thing. This one was in 21. I feel like I remember seeing it last year, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you want something different to like expand your palette, Winterberry Wreath, I would highly suggest it. Um, and so with that, we have filled up <laughs> another shelving unit. Whew, that was, that was wild. Um, a lot of little collection shelves, and we still have one leaves, one lowly little leaves over here. Um, we have, let's see, so these, I think this is like five in a column, and we have four rows going this way, and three rows going back, so that's 12 times five, that's 60. We have 60 more candles and then some to go through until we can put up the Christmas tree. And then even after we put up the Christmas tree, like we still have to do the other pile that's over here. So like, and Thanksgiving is coming. So I guess, I guess we better hop to it for another video and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for hanging out and thanks so much for subscribing, liking, commenting. We are enjoying ourselves and we will see you in the next video. Bye.